All right, so here is the video review for Bandai Robot Damashi Robot Spirits. I'm not sure entirely sure. It says Robot Spirits on the box. I'm not telling people say Robot Damashi. Um, same figure, City and Fury, uh, the one of the other mechs from Pacific Rim Two Uprising. Pacific Rim Uprising, I guess it's just what it's called. And uh, he's pretty slick. He kind of looks like an evil Cylon, a big evil Cylon. Uh, <laughs> to a degree and uh you'll see that like what what i mean when compared with gypsy danger or gypsy avenger actually is that much like the others like he, he does have a nice black finish all over him and he actually has a really nice uh orange how well it's good they can kind of see it from the side a little better as the light shines through orange visor plate which i wish there were a way to get more light coming in from maybe behind it to make it glow like that from the front because it really does stand out uh, and it should a little more than that but uh and like i said it's a nice matte black finish but it's very plain and he should have while he is mostly obsidian and solid black in the film there's just some detail bits that could be picked out on him to make him pop a little more uh that you're not seeing in uh you know that you see here on gypsy avenger uh or her, I guess, so we were saying all the mechs are referred to as her, and that's true, they do refer to her as Gypsy and all of them as her. So my apologies for any mis mislabeling of the mechs. Uh, so yeah, um, and the... Uh, forgot what I was going to say. Height-wise, you can see a little taller than Gypsy, uh, and if we bring out the tape measure, uh, it sits right about 7 inches. Maybe just a smidge taller, depending on how you've got it standing. Um, or depending on if there's an... You know, if you let the ruler sit all the way down. About seven inches tall, even. And a little taller than Gypsy Avenger. Also, I want to point out... I meant to point this out the other day. The visor here on Avenger, that's not... I, I don't think, anyway, that that's light coming through it. It's just a really shiny gold, but it catches the light very well and reflects it. Like, even in a dim room... Uh, like, you want to have the lights turned off and I'm just watching TV. It, it looks like it, it's picking up some light and glowing through it. It really The, the, the paint on Gypsy's visor really uh, reflects light and picks it up. And I wish, like I said, I wish there was a way to get just a little bit more light in from his, into Obsidian Fury's head. Other than just turning him sideways. Because there really is a pretty orange plastic in there. You know how I feel about orange. Uh, that, that glows very nicely, but you only see the light from certain angles. And I wish it, there was more of that coming through from a straight on perspective. Posing wise and uh, posability wise, it's very similar to uh, Gypsy Avenger. You got the ball joint at the neck and the forward and back neck, although he's got a little bit more room there. A little bit more limited up in the upper position because of the collar. He's got the little communications disrupting flappies on his back. And then the, the shoulder armor is different as well. The shoulder armor here is pegged in. There's a ball joint and a peg behind the arm. It's not part of the actual arm shoulder joint itself like it was on Chipsy Avenger. But you've got the same ball joints uh, and rotating socket here. Uh, the bicep swivel. Go ahead and push this back in. And again, this, this is a little bit more limited. You kind of have to lift it up past that scoop. You don't get quite as much range out of the shoulder pads. They can still get out of the way but because of the way that the molding is here. And then the bicep swivel, the dual hinged elbows, the dual ball joint at the wrist. Again, an ab joint that is really more for rotation and a little bit of front to back. It doesn't really ab crunch. Um, has the same interior waist joint and the same uh, ball joint there at the upper thigh, ball joint at the hip, and then the double jointed knees, and then a ball joint. Double balls are, again, down at the ankle, although, again, that uh, ankle armor does tend to uh, limit some of the poses you can get out of it. Still very poseable. But uh, nicely detailed, like I said, uh, very, very heavy on the obsidian. And I, I, it would have been nice to have a few small details picked out on him. Alternate parts-wise, he doesn't come with quite as many as uh, Gypsy Avenger does. There's the alternate hands, again, in the open kind of splayed hand pose with the joint. Not quite as upright as Gypsy Avengers were, but uh, but the basic open splayed hand there. 
And on this, on the other side, uh, again, that double ball joint, it likes to come out at the wrist. It comes out at the wrist easier than in the fist, so you have to pop it out from the fist itself, transfer it over to the, uh, the other hand. Or you can just plug it back into the, the wrist socket and then attach the hand that way. But, so a little bit more problematic in that I wish the hand popped off easier than it popped out of the wrist, but not a huge issue because it's designed to do that. But just, yeah, just a little bit of a pain. Maybe it's possible at some point to tighten that wrist joint in such a way that I can get it to pop out there, but whatever. And what's really cool is the other alternate pieces you get with Obsidian are the chainsaw, the energy chainsaw blades. And as you can see, unlike on Gypsy Avenger, these don't come attached to the forearm. His forearms, actually, you can see there's a little gap here. Uh, just you pop the outer panel off, there's a slot inside there, and I think they're lined up in such a way so that you, it doesn't matter which one goes where. Because um, there is, you can see there's a notched tab there. But you just plug this in to the forearm, and then the outer shoulder panel plugs back into this. One, it's an easier swap, and... Uh, I like that you know it makes it look more integrated into the arm. I wish they'd done. I wish they'd made it so. And this is again minor spoiler for the movie. So if you don't want to know anything, skip forward about ten seconds, starting now. I wish they had made it so you could swap these on to uh, Gypsy Avenger. So yeah. All right, we still got three more seconds. Hi guys, how you doing? All right, welcome back from the spoiler people. And uh, but yeah. There he is with his uh, chainsaw blades. They also have a nice translucent orangeness to them, transparent oranges, whatever you want, to, however you want to say it. So yes, yeah, so you can arm them up to the teeth. Yeah, fight. It's an epic fight in the snow. Actually, this is actually a fairly appropriate background for this. Yeah, you can get some cool poses out of him. Just oh, he won by default. Stand up, stand up. Get your get your defenses going. Like I said I love these things because they're super easy to pose. So he's all getting defensive. Nope, you gotta stand. You gotta stand. You gotta keep it. While well, Obsidian Fury is all like, I'm coming at you. Rah. Anyway. Let me go ahead and pop these. But yeah, also, it's just an easier swap out to pull these out than, uh, than popping off the whole forearm. Hi. Did you hear me making noise and wanted to come see what it was? Valkyrie's here, the puppy. How you doing? Yeah, I call, I said your name. What about it? Okay, so. But yeah, just like, uh, and just again, just to show it off, uh, like I did with Gypsy. A little bit, because of the shoulder pads, a little bit more effort kind of has to go into it and, and, and the way his legs are moved. But uh, he's actually got longer arms, so it works a little better. But uh, also, fairly effortlessly, like you saw there, right there. You saw how quick I just did that. A fully stable uh, Iron Man pose. And again, you can bring his, you don't have to bring his leg all the way back. Whoop! I popped this arm off. That's, again, pops out the wrist easy. Don't break your, stop breaking your wrist, dude. It's my fault. It's my fault, I know. Like, that, 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 just boom. It, there it is. Iron Man pose. That quickly. It's really cool. How poseable these things are. How easy they are to get in and out of their positions. So, yeah. Will I buy any more? Well, that's the question. Because this guy, I went into Toys R Us on the way into work. And I didn't see any where they usually were. I didn't see any where I first saw them over by the Transformers. 
I didn't see any more over by the Marvel Legends figures where they had moved them to. Um, and I was about to walk out of the store. And I was just walking out. And I was in a completely unrelated aisle. And I just happened to, like, stop and turn around and, and look right at this guy. Just one single one sitting in a mess of a shelf. And I said, well, that's a sign. And I grabbed him. Because... <laughs> uh, he was pro he was gonna be my next on my purchase list and like I'm like if I buy one more, I, I want to get at least Obsidian Fury. So it really comes down to can I find them? I don't know that I'm going to go out of my way to have them shipped or hunt them, but as I do come across them, if I'm in the mood and I have the money, I may pick them up. Uh, I may I'm I'm really kind of desperately trying to hold off to see if we get a Mega Kaiju figure. Because if that one gets announced, I will absolutely buy that one. I am leaning toward being tempted by the Safubi, the Sofi Spirits uh, Raijin. Uh, I know my Barnes & Noble has one. And I'd kind of like to have a big monster to fight. But, you know, whatever. So, anyway. Just to get another real quick side-by-side -side with the two of them. Of Gypsy Avenger and Obsidian Fury. Like I said, really digging this line. Now that I've got two of them, I, just, I don't know if I'm going to go all, all in. Uh, a lot of it really depends on availability. But uh, the two I have, I'm really happy with. Uh, this guy is looking great. And he was fun in the movie. She was fun in the movie. However you want to say it, I apologize. Um, but there's Obsidian Fury. One last thing real quick that I had intended to mention and then forgotten was... Uh, they are universal joints uh, at, 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 the, at these, uh, at, at most of the joints at least. Like I said, his connection up there does have a ball joint. I don't know if this ball joint appears the same as the shoulder armor here, but like the shoulder ball joints and even the, uh, the kind of keyhole shaped joints on the elbows are, are universally exchangeable. So if you wanted to conceivably, um, you could, uh, you can kind of create your own mech. You can swap forearms. And it looks like Gypsy Danger is putting on some fancy evening gloves. But uh, you can swap bits and bobbles around on them. Their mechs go nuts. But yeah, like I said, highly recommend. If you have to, if you, if you have any interest, like I said in yesterday's video. By all means, pick up Gypsy Avenger. I think it's a really great example of the line and uh, at a great price point. If you're feeling it more adventurous and got some money to spare, maybe pick up some of the others because Obsidian Fury is pretty great too.